hey what's up how you doing so welcome to this section of the tutorial in this video we are going to be learning how to make our admin create a post in our blog application all right so without further ado let's just get started so in the last section what we did was look at our admin authentication where admin can log in so we are done with that now so what i want to do now is i'm basically i'm going to close all this um stuff i want to i want a clean space i'm going to do php at the sun i believe um i have okay so we have a um, post controller that was created in the last video so as to check our admin alt so as we have this post controller already and we also have in our api um the post controller here so we cannot access it if you are not logged in all right so we've done that in the last video so what we want to do is just basically send the post request so we want to first do php at the sun make a request i want to um, create a request so let's go ahead and do php at the sun make a request you can say post request all right so um we have another that says okay so we have to see the api all right so run this but so first we want to do is return this to true all right so we can be able to validate what we want to validate now the first thing we need is um we can go ahead and do um mm, look at what we are going to let's do title so the title of our blog that we're going to do um is it is required all right so it is a string and a minimum of um, let's say five characters. I can copy this. I can have um. I can have um this um body. Um, I mean, so body. This is a string and a minimum of let's say ten characters. And we have, want to have image. So this is our cover image. So we are just going to specify image here. All right. And um, basically that is everything we need to validate. So, in this store now. We can just go ahead and cut this so we don't need that again. All right, so once that is done now, in this place, we can go ahead and call our post requests. All right, so once that is done now, we can just go at the top and let's validate this. We can do validated. This is going to create a validation for us. So once that is done now, uh, what I can basically do is run my server here. So I'm going to PHP at this and serve. I'm just going to open up my uh, the Thunder clients here. And if I should click on send, governor has a API post not found. Um, okay, this is wrong here, which is posts. So let's send this. I'm sure API post could not be found. Um, oh, yeah, so it's supposed to be admin slash post, I believe. So if you should send this, yeah, so it's not supported. So this has to be a push request. Send this again. We have an uneducated, so we have to log in our user. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, this was the for master for us then. I'm going to clear everything. All right, and I'm just going to have our admin email. I believe it's admin at gmail.com. If you can't remember, check your database see that. You're also going to have password. The password is going to be password, which is why I saved it that. Yours can be different. Uh, Okay, not that you have to move to login, so you have to check the login URL. So the login URL is um, it's basically just login. So I'm just going to head over to login URL. Login. Then yeah, let's click on send. All right, very good. So we have our token here. Go ahead and grab your token, save. Go to alt. Then we're going to replace it here, here. and we can just control Z this. Okay, so if you should send this now, because we have title field required, the body field required. So I'm just going to clean all this. When this is done there's also another thing that we want to validate which is categories so we're going to do category category is required so we're going to say our category is required all right and our category is going to be another model actually so for this post the first one to do is create our model and migration source to save it into the data into our database so we're going to do php artisan make model so what is the model we're making posts and we're going to save it and we're going to create a migration um a migration file for you so see it into api or post the reason why i said you are moving to api is because if you look at our folder structure this is a float application then inside of it there's an api folder inside of it okay, so in our model we just need to do protected fillable what do you want to fill into it you want to fill in um um tied to i believe so we have tied to we have um description 
and we have our uh, image you notice that we are not filling in um, the category because that is going to be another table on its own because we can have multiple categories you know, we just want to have that so we're going to do some basic relationship because we do function admin so an admin can have many videos so we can say admin as as many posts i mean and basically this can be uh return return this as many as many uh posts as many belong to class so i, I just realized that i'm missing something so this is not supposed to be bad money it's supposed to be belongs to so we are saying this belongs to um to the admin class right so inside the admin class now we can now go ahead and have our half many so which is on here function this is post we use um plural posts we're going to say as many now once that is done now we can basically just return this as many posts dot class um double colon class we'll also save that and um when that is done in our migration file so we have to do table string so the string our person is tied to we also have we're going to have body so this is some body we are going to have text and this string we're going to have image i just remember something now so in our post the description i had so this is supposed to be body here and um, let's take a look at the request is it body yes so it is body good so once it's done you want to add a relationship so we're going to do big increment big increment so we're going to surpass in um id then after that we're going to do table unsigned integer inside big integer we're going to do admin id so we, so we, have, to, so we have to know the admin that created a particular post then under you're going to do table foreign sorry foreign so foreign what want to have the foreign the admin table should be foreign the reference id on what on the admin table we're going to rest our ID on the admin table. Yep. So we're good to go. We can basically just do PHP artisan uh, migrate. As you can see, we have that. So we want to create another model again. So we're going to do post model. We're going to call this category. And what that is done now. So this category, what we need to just do protected, available. An array we are going to pass in um admin no, not admin id we're going to pass in post id post id and cat cat name you can just call it cat name or whatever or call it anything you want to call it then this cat name here we're going to do function belongs and belongs to so what does it does it belong to it belongs to a post right so we're going to have belongs to a post then here we are going to do return Return this belongs to a post. All right. Then our post, I just want to tell our post that it has many um it has many categories. So we're going to go to this, we're going to call these categories in plural. I say as many. Now here we're going to specify as many here. Alright, save that now in our migration for category again we need to do big increment id then after that we need to pass our posts post id so we're going to say unsigned big integer post id then we also need the cat name so we're going to do table string cat name all right then just right there we have to set our foreign we have to do foreign um post id post id and on so um reference reference id on posts all right save it and now uh, we can go ahead and run php as a migrate yep and we are good to go all right so good so since that is sorted out already then we can now head over to post controller and what we can do now is um Let's first test this and see if our category is showing up. 
okay so our configuration of so what we can do i go ahead and do is um i just do uh um, trying to figure out what, what we can do we can say response equals to alt so we are picking the authenticated user guard authenticated i mean admin i mean so admin is remember to user so inside this user here in our admin model we have a uh, post so we can copy post selecting the post um, relationship that we're going to call create inside of it so this create here we're going to now do um tie to we're going to do tie to equals to post request tie to then we're going to do description and not description actually body So we are going to do body and also this is going to be image so the image we still need to do some stuff about the image so we we'll do that now okay so for the image what we can do is at the top we are going to have um image equals to basically post request we're going to select the file so our file name is image so our file name is image then we are going to do image name we're going to uh, give our image a name then what i want to do is make it unique we're going to do dot uh, image get client original name all right so once this is done now we can, we can just move our image so we're going to do image move we are moving it to we're moving to the public part and i'm going to move it to the um post images images all right there we can go ahead and have um our image name and yeah so we should be good to go with this and this place here we can just go ahead and call image name here okay so for no ignore this error so basically because the code doesn't like work work with um laravel relationship kind of stuff so that's why you have in about it's, it's going to work so once, once we have that we can do um if um rest so basically if the rest is is true so it's just going to turn a one or zero which is true of us we're going to do um for each so for each what post request post request category remember we have our category as cart so we're going to now do category create so what do you want to create? We want to create post ID. So how are we going to get our post ID? To get our post ID, we can basically just call IDs, which is res select the ID. And can have our cat name. Also be equal to cat. Okay, so basically we have that. Then we can have here yeah, say else return response. So we're going to return a response same message error uploading error, error making post okay then we can give this some 500 uh, i'm just going to copy this down and what i want to do is this one we're going to have cards here so basically when we have that card we cannot reference if the cut is has been done so we can see if cards is true we can have that we can say um sources all right and we can go ahead and do else again error and um yeah so we should be good to go and what we can do is uh basically go to our request send the post request we still have our error so we're going to have tied to how to code as our body how to code body we're going to have image so for this image i'm going to click on files here i'm going to click on image image choose image so you're just going to pick a particular image here open then we want to have a category so for the category remember it's an array so we can go ahead and have category i pass an array inside here we can go ahead and do game another category an array let's say movie all right so we should send this you yeah, see so we have sources then we should go to our 
sorry about that so you should go to our um blog app so my blog database what is it okay so my blog app we should go to post and i see we have how to code here now image then we, we should go to categories now we have categories with the post id there so you just post id so click on it take us to this place and last thing we want to do is just let's just render everything out so we can go to our post controller right at the top here we're gonna have function index we don't want any requests and we can just do posts member plural then we're going to do post with so with what with category categories remember so it's a plural it has many categories so go to categories I'm just going to call it test so we order them by created that all right then we're going to do response so you transpose say message you can just pass success or you can go ahead and have a um, post the post is going to be post then here is going to be response 200 and that's going to do is our api we also call our api we don't want this to be in the middle way middle way so we can just put this outside here because you can access it without being logged in so let's do that i just say posts and this can be indexed all right so if you go to back and we add s here remove the admin and we click on send we have another say api method post is not okay it's not a wrong it's not a post request so we want to say to get request send we have another that says column or non column admins dot post id in where clause where admin oh okay so i believe what we have to do is in our what we have to do is go to our post controller here we can post we can say um as many admin id i believe so so oh no 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 so the admin has many categories and the category is going to be no sorry i think i'm missing something here yeah. okay what was i checking before so okay post so the post has many categories i mean so we're going to have bad tidy so let's fix that let's fix this one first i'm not sure that's the error though so let's fix this one first so we have another say categories so cut tidy in work close so let's talk from categories where at least good does cut tidy in one So oh, not categories of cut ID actually. So let's go to post category. Want to have post ID? I believe so. All right. So want to have post ID? Send that. Yep. And it's working now. So you can see we have our post here, and we have categories a variety of the post. All right. So we are done with this tutorial. So the next tutorial we're going to look at how we can refactor this and um, um create a comment section for it. All right. So see you next time. Peace.